Yep. Okay, we are back uh, with Razor Active uh, and back with more online comments from y'all. Why don't you all take a look? Um, uh, F1, um, wait, Brooklyn said, um, anyone, anyway, everyone in the world who ain't Man United fans are writing us off. However, they can usually eat their words at the end of the season. Good luck then. Gloop more before you sulk. Eh, <laughs> hey, of course lah. I mean, like, at the end of the season, always you know the same, right? Uh, ten, ten, ten wins, right? ten titles in fif- 15 over years. Yeah. Ugh, that sucks. <laughs> but anyway, uh, some Root Van Wong comments are uh, right at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. says that I can't even fit into an F1 F1 car. You see, that's why I am a sports editor <laughs> instead of an F1 race driver. Okay? Uh, but never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, I mean, uh, it's too bad my weight, huh? but never mind. <laughs> pregnant, pregnant. <laughs> but never mind. Uh, back, to, back to football. Um, and this week uh, is not League Cup, uh, it's not uh, International Week. It must be Champions League week. Okay. Uh, Champions League is back again, um, and this time. This this uh the top four teams are, are facing uh, some weird clubs actually, um, Manchester United um against who, A B Albok uh, from Denmark Danish again, club. Danish club um, whereas Arsenal Porto. will meet Porto uh, that that that's Not a, so that is a <laughs> pretty famous club but uh, there you go, um a bit a bit trickier, uh, hmm. Chelsea will fl- will go to Romania. Uh, the deep parts of Romania to face CFR Cluj while Liverpool and the team PSV Eindhoven from Holland oh. now shall we Man United uh, the last time they went to Denmark they lost 1-0 to Copenhagen yes um, do you do you ever do you, can, can you even think of that happening uh, this time around I wouldn't be quick to you know wipe off um, Elbox chances not that you know they're, not, they're actually going to win but um, I, th- I think we should do the business on the day and with Ronaldo and Rooney firing over the weekend it should be three points and of course the Villarreal draw was hard to take I'm sure the boys are hungry for that first three points this season in Europe definitely good good thing they are back on target uh, Rooney and oh, very very good thing mm-hmm. the last time that happened Champions League Let's see we lifted it so yeah okay but um, Porto uh, not exactly uh Easy team. Uh, Liverpool had a tough, tough time with them the last season around. Um, um, coming back from the how how defeat, do you think uh, uh, it is a good match where you know maybe your players can bounce back to quickly dispel the how defeat? More than the players bouncing back, Wenger has promised changes. Hmm. I mean, there have been some questions there. Why I'm so happy that we lost? I'm not happy that we lost. I'm happy that our potential. Um, weakness Achilles heel has been exposed so we can do something about it um, Fabregas made a very interesting comment after the, the League Cup game he says I can't afford to take my place for granted and this is one of us, Arsenal's most consistent performers very likely a potential captain uh, and he's, he's got it right because the young players are waiting to come in this time they're ready uh, Wenger's promised changes for the Porto game and I, I think we'll see some changes and I think you'll see a very different performance um, like I said, um, very good comment. You, I, I, it's the Champions League. However small the teams look, you can't take them for granted because uh, it's 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 all right now because it's kind of the league stage. So you can get away with a draw. You can get away with a loss. You've got a uh, chance to catch up as long as you're there in the top two out of four, which shouldn't be a problem if you really consider yourself a big four. But um, it's it's the attitude that will get you. That we're going there, we'll show up because we're United, because we're Arsenal, because we're Liverpool, and we'll get the points. Uh, that's the surest way not to get the points. So I think, good point. Um, if they're serious about challenging, they should do the business. I'm actually excited about the Porto game. Uh, the youngsters coming in, seeing how the seniors have performed, saying, look, we can actually stake a claim for the Premiership if we play like we can. Mm-hmm. And I think you'll see different performance. I'm actually excited by it. I think we're going to win. Now Liverpool, um, PSV is a long time. We have faced them quite a few times. Yeah, they have, you faced them quite a few times. Last time was in the quarterfinals, right? Last year, um, pretty, we'll say error. Um, not not much of a suspense. We quite beat, beat them in uh, a way, right? But uh, now now 
what do you think now? Now back back facing them again and in the group stages, do you think uh, Liverpool will um, sort of like put their put their feet off the pedal a bit against uh, PSV? I don't think it's wise to do that. I mean, like you know, especially like last season, what happened is uh, you know those games against Marseille, Porto. You know, we couldn't win those games. So it's like you know, from 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 that season on, you know, Rafa. He already had like two his players. You know, I mean, you gotta concentrate uh, on this game itself. So you know, I mean, especially like the lessons of last season's Champions League. Mm. Yeah. So I think they would have learned uh, much, much more. So even on paper, it's like you know, for for all teams, it's like pretty mm. Um, mm. inferior opinion, op- opponents. Mm. But none of you are actually thinking that it is three points assured. Can mm. I say that? No way. <coughs> No. Not 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 in the context of how football has changed today, yeah. Yeah. and there are no easy games actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so it comes uh, to be pretty going to be a pretty um, exciting uh, midweek uh, for Champions League actions for the four EPL clubs. Um, before 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 we uh, let's let's put a difference. Uh, let's go on to a different tangent here. You know, um, biggest thing that actually happened on weekend. Besides EPL football, it's actually you know Formula One racing in Singapore. No, couldn't get any bigger than that. Couldn't, yeah, the biggest, football, biggest sports event that happened in, in uh, night Singapore. race, man. I know, I know EPL is one thing. No, mm. uh, unfortunately, I had got to miss my weekend of EPL action while I was covering Formula One. But I will admit, I mean, for a non F one fan, it was immense fun. Of course, our uh, Razor TV were were there. Um, I mean, they captured the three winners of the. Um, three winners of the Formula One. Uh, for for information, Fernando Alonso uh, won the um, <coughs> inaugural night race, uh, coming from fifteen posi- fifteen place on the grid. Uh, that's something <coughs> pretty amazing. Uh. Don't you Cal- think, Andy? Carlos Puyol. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, he looks, he looks a bit like Carlos Puyol. Puyol. Michael yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, uh, Theo Walcott. Uh, Theo, <laughs> yeah. Theo Walcott. Uh, no, that's Luis. Theo Walcott gave up football. He actually, he, he actually won. Um, he actually, I think, is oh, the biggest winner. That's a great yeah. shot. You think Hamilton was the biggest winner? Huh? Getting six points from the, the the thing and oh, and that's poor Felipe Massa. Yeah, it's a tragedy. Though. Tragedy that's for yeah. uh, Mr. Ferrari, the Ferrari team, both. Both drivers failed to score. That's really, really tragic. Um, second place was Nico Rosberg, right? Nico yeah. Rosberg. Yeah. Yes. Ah, mm-hmm. nobody. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, f- for a football fan, do you, do you find joy in uh, actually watching this kind of um, cars going round and round and round for for almost the entire duration of a football match? More do you find that. joy in watching it? <laughs> No, I, I appreciate the uh, what goes into the what the drivers go through every day. It's it's physical endurance actually. Sixty one laps, no joke. They lose about yeah. a fifth of the body. Oh, no, that's three kilos actually. Five percent of the body weight. Yeah, three, three kilos. kilos. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I can appreciate that because I, I'm a sporty person myself, mm-hmm. and it really there's really some effort that they they go through day in day in day out to earn their money on the on the track. So mm-hmm. it's exciting, of course, the speed and everything. But I'm personally not. A, Race fan, huh. so yeah. Yeah, I think I heard you are a race fan. So uh, uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually no, watching no. it on TV, but you know, yeah. uh, yesterday's uh, you know the 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 F one in Singapore, yeah, pretty action packed. You know, that that incident where you know, that unfortunate incident involving Massa. You know, uh, Kimi Raikkonen was left with ten laps, and he just you know he was he was that close, and he just you know, it happened. Yeah. Um. But would you would you let's say okay you got the Liverpool, Everton, Merseyside derby <laughs> at the same time you're putting him in the spot <laughs> at a qualifying session. Or, uh-huh. uh, which one would you pick? Tough <laughs> <laughs> hey, That's a really easy give question. The right? Right answer. <laughs> I'll definitely pick Liverpool. Uh, at least uh, yeah. football fans through and through okay. mm. But I I know that you you are not you are not an F one fan, Ben. Um, Sorry. Um, but. Um, do you, do you see ever see, will see F one overtaking football as the premier oh. uh, spectator sport? No in, chance. Uh, yes, no, no chance. chance. What is, what is, what's that thing about football that make us go back again and again? <laughs> How was this after? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I mean, <laughs> it's happened enough times. I mean, it, yeah. 
That's and why unfortunately, we Arsenal seem to be one of the. They lost to some FA Cup tie. They were top of the league. Yeah. Uh, 1991 season. They were top of the league. Lost yeah. to a team. Mom right. 98 right. places below. Uh, <laughs> Arsenal seem to have their fair share of it more than their fair share of it. But I think I, I can take off my Arsenal colours and just be a, a, a neutral football fan. It's, after 20 years, it's very difficult. Um, that's the draw of football. Yeah. It's 11 men, how 11 men play. It's not about who your owner is, how much money you've got behind you, who your stars are. It's 11 men coming, playing with passion, playing with commitment, playing with some common sense. And, uh, and I think that's why football will always be the biggest sport. Yeah. Uh, well said. Um, of course, uh, y'all were also putting in quite good comments on the, on the online. Um, Ruth Van Wong come and say, I'd rather watch F1 than see how go around. <laughs> <laughs> you're living up to your name, you're rude. And you'll never I can see say. me going around on a merry-go-round on TV. Like, come on. Jesse said it's not pretty amazing that Alonso won. He only managed to win due to crashes, safety cars, treasury of Massa and Michael. Totally luck. And that's some kind of amazing luck to have all those things happening at one in one race, you know. Well, uh, any more? Um, 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 let's see. Um, I became an F1 fave. Fan after the last race, I went live. Brooklyn said, uh, "Yeah, uh, I admit. Uh, for for me personally, um, watching it live is a uh, is some is really some kind of experience rather than watching on TV. Yeah. Uh, we got another four more years of this thing. I would seriously recommend you all at least go down and have a look." I'm going to take uh, Ruth Van Wong's advice and uh, you try and get into a, a fun car. <laughs> 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 okay, maybe, maybe about four years' time, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to do it. Now, you know, After right. Liverpool stop winning games, remember? Yeah, you lose, yeah, yeah. You lose if kilos. Liverpool keep <laughs> losing games, I think that, that will be happening. You might actually feel no way. Right, right, no right, way. right, right. Okay, anyway, I'll, let's go with, uh, have a look at uh, us, us um, our guests here. Um, who, are your, who are their players of the week? Um, I think for Andy, it's uh, pretty obvious. Please tell me. Fernando Torres. Well, what would Liverpool do without him? Um, they will be Everton, right? No way. <laughs> okay. Not even close. <laughs> okay, not even close. Man. How, how about Shaba? What who, who will be our player of the week? I think... Um, Rob Stiles. Tough. Rob Stiles. Oh, he is, he's, he's wearing the red. <laughs> in, the in the locker room. But uh, it's tough. But I've got to say... Ooh... Between Park Ji Sung or one of the central defenders for keeping the game clean for a good spell. Park Ji Sung, if he's not injured, he's, he's really, really. Uh, he's can't run yeah. off very he's, he's a terrier. That's very what they, they call him Tri Lung Park in Korea. That's his uh, nickname. He so doesn't die on game. Sounds rude. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ben, ben um, I know it's hard to pick, but do you have a player? Bakari Sanya, I think one player who at least uh, played with some pride. Mm. Not Ben Percy, you're missing the open goal. <laughs> <laughs> It's my favourite. Okay, son. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, he's not going to get picked like that because Carlos Vela is waiting to come in. Bettner is waiting to come in. So, More keep playing kids, like huh? that. We'll get new. We'll get new. We'll get a new strike force up front that will deliver. Uh, yeah. More kids in the street. Well, I mean, we can keep on talking and talking and talking about EPL, but you no, know, it's kind of run out of time today. But you no, know, before we go, um, here's our razor razor for the day. Um, it's it's by Landon Donovan uh, from oh. USA, a professional soccer player. Uh, says uh, most of us are in this more than just for playing soccer. We are in it for the bigger goal uh, to move it along for the next generation. Whoa, so altruistic. But anyway, thanks guys uh, for joining us today. Thank you. you know, thank, you. Uh, thank you for joining us too from online. And thank you, Root Van Wong, for your comments. I will not forget that. <laughs> I will not forget that. You're very generous. Okay, next, but. Be- uh, don't go away. See you all next week. But don't go away now. Stay with us with Razor TV. We've got news coming up next. See you all.